Raven, she was at death's door at the end of season one. Everybody's been praying for her. Thank you. <laughs> so what can you share, kind of where things pick back up for Raven? Well, just the fact that I'm sitting here is a, is a good note. Um, I good clue in. Um, yeah, I guess the, the, you're absolutely right. Raven is at death's door. And the cool thing about the show is that it's not just like, oh, She still kind of limps around, you know what I mean? Like, every, and like Jasper, you know, being speared, he has like post traumatic stress disorder. So I think I love that about it. So, what happened to Raven, um, Murphy Shaker, and the bull in her spine definitely plays a giant uh, part in the second season. Well, didn't they announce during the panel that you're a regular this season? That's kind of a big clue. Okay, when they say that you're picking up, are we picking up like seconds later or like an hour later? I'd say we're like maybe a day or two. Day or two. But for the most part, it's right there. Right okay. there, yeah. Well, who is Raven interacting with at the beginning of the season? If you can tell. If you can say. <laughs> that actually... I will tell you, it is the last person you think you would be. And that was pretty awesome. I remember getting the first episode, and I, and I was just like, what? No way. So, yeah, it's the last person you think. I'll tell you that. So Murphy's back then. <laughs> the cockroach? <laughs> He's the one that kind of put her in that position. <laughs> well, that's true, but maybe not Murphy then. <laughs> we'll have to see. You have to check that one out. I'm trying to think who else would be the last person you would be back. I know, right? Yeah. It's a, it's a lot of people, so. It could be one of the adults. <laughs> so, what are you kind of looking forward to as the season two plays out? You know, I only know so much, and that's literally from getting Jason drunk and making him talk. It like, works, doesn't it? Tell me more. Yeah. So, and even that subjective is it's always it's always changing. Um, so we never even know. I was talking to other people before. And then the last season, Raven was always supposed to die. Always. You know, the fact that. Uh, became regular and everything. That was never supposed to happen in any whatsoever storyline. I lived in a hotel for six months just because I I'd always thought I'd be going home. Um, so, I mean, you don't know how feel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're an actor, you know, it's your job, you know what I mean? I signed on for so many episodes, or I was booked for so many episodes, and that's what happened. And I also think that also makes a great story, too. You have those twists and turns, and you have characters that you meet and lose, and so I understand. I would never take it personally, you know, unless they're like, yeah, so we hate you, goodbye. But no, no. Um, but with that said, you know, I know some things about second season, but it's almost like, it almost doesn't even matter, because nothing is in stone until we're shooting it. Even, you know, we get a script, we get changes on the day, easily, that are massive. So, yeah. we're kept on our toes a lot, and I like that too, because it really keeps the story fresh, always evolving. Um, I would say for season two that, yeah, it, it, it evolves from season one. It goes to just so much more complexity as far as like character dynamics and a lot of character work for everyone individually. You're going to see a new side of everyone that you didn't see in season one. I think that's, that's a really big revelation. What was the most shocking moment for you from season one? I mean... Yeah. And like so many are coming to me. I mean, when Charlotte died, I was I was like, oh, that happened. <laughs> that was the thing. Um, you know what it is? It's like now I kind of know some things for season two. So there's clues in season one 
that I didn't even know would affect um, the second season. And so now I'm thinking, and there, there's scenes where it's like, you don't even think to, sorry, like Octavia's butterfly scene. Okay. I'm going to say, you think it's like pretty and beautiful, and, you know, just think about it. Okay. And that's a, that's an interesting idea for season two. So everything has a little, has ramifications. So that's what's shocking to me. It's like, it's right in front of my face the whole time. And, you know? Well, is there going to be a chance of possibly another romance for Raven this season? I don't know. She hooks up a lot. <laughs> Rob needs to chill. <laughs> she needs to build more bombs. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. Uh, what I am told, though, is that romance is kind of the last thing on everyone's mind, you know, we're all just, the, the main focus is just survival, just survival, and if, if romance comes into it, whenever they have a, a, a five minute break, some downtime, then so be it, but as far as I can tell, nothing on the horizon, um, and if there is something, I'd be shocked. Yeah. She just seems to be such a determined woman. If she wants something, she pursues it. So I can't see her saying, hey, I'm closing the door on left. Well, she was willing to try that. Well, she was in a, she was in a rough place. Yeah, no, I could definitely see that too, but I just think Raven's also very logical, you know, and, and I think, like, her mind makes sense to her, but her heart doesn't. So, and I, that's one thing I love about her, is her heart almost, she's fearless except for matters of the heart, and that's what freaks her out. So, um, you know, she learned a lot from the hookup with Melanie, and she learned that that wasn't a way to, to mend your broken heart. That was the opposite, you know, and that was her first time experiencing that. So, if anything, I think Raven shies away a bit from romance. Um, she's not going to pursue it, even if she wants it. She's, uh, it will, it will just surprise her. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs>